Looking at the divorce papers handed to him, Robert let out a hearty laugh. Sounds good. I'll grant you the divorce. Vision you with no income to live on will come crawling back to me in no time. Also, who's the one without a source of income here? The. Uh, my foolish husband is under the impression that I'm leaving him without any plan for myself. Not even aware of the big trap I've set up for him. My name is Emma. I live with my husband, Robert, raised and surrounded by his mother and two older sisters. Robert has that youngest sibling trait, good at having people spoil him. On the other hand, me being the oldest sibling through and through. I'm the kind of person who handles everything on my own. At work, I'm seen as someone to look up to, and Robert, who's the same age as me, has increasingly come to rely on me in his work. Emma, my PC froze. Oh dear, did you save your data properly? Uh, I forgot, um... Really? I help you redo it, so give me your hard copies. Features in our duo, with me supporting the constantly blundering Robert, had become well known in the office. Gradually, Robert began to consult me about his private matters as well, and the time we spent together after work increased. As the older sister type, I didn't mind being relied upon by Robert. One day, Robert asked me out. I thought, why not keep going like this? So I agreed, and we began dating. Robert was happy to publicly announce our relationship, and the company approved dating continued until our marriage. After turning in our marriage certificate, I decided to support him as a good wife should and promptly quit my job. Being me who tends to overwork for the future, I was also a bit tired of continuously working. I thought it wouldn't be bad to devote myself to my husband after marriage. Several years have passed since then, and Robert has steadily climbed the corporate ladder. One day, I was invited to go out for drinks by a colleague with whom is close at the company. As I was happily catching up with them, my colleague, looking relieved, said this. It's good to see you haven't changed, Esther Emma. Well, according to what Robert has been saying, Huh, why? No, it's true. He often says at work, Emma can't live without me. Yes, indeed. We were surprised. Our Emma... Really? What seemed like Emma helping him at work was just Robert making it look that way. In fact, he said that Emma quit her job because of her feelings of inferiority. He said that Emma quit her job because of her feelings of inferiority. I was truly shocked by their words. Robert, who had been pampered by his mother and sisters until we got married, is a man who can't even boil water, let alone handle housework. Cleaning, laundry, daily cooking. He can't help with any of the detailed chores. I'm the one who handles everything in the house. Yet he has been spreading completely opposite stories to everyone. And that it. He's also been spreading false rumors about why I became a full-time housewife. Because he's better at work, and that made me feel inferior, so I quit. That's ridiculous. Why would he spread such nonsense? I was so spaced out. I left the drinking party early. As soon as I got home, I confronted him. Albert, 
Are you bad-mouthing me at work? Stop doing that. But to which Robert responded nonchalantly, It's happened to spread that way from some conversation. Wouldn't you also be proud if people thought your husband was competent? Um, you haven't said anything on this, sir. I haven't said anything. In fact, I was too surprised today to rebuke properly. I will correct them from now on. Don't stress about something so trivial. Oh, you so mature, huh? Stop worrying, says Robert, but it's not pleasant to be badmouthed behind your back. Herbert doesn't seem to get it, but if I tell him clearly to stop it, he probably won't spread such nonsense again. According to my colleague, the situation seemed to have gotten worse. And since then, Robert has been even more aggressive in portraying me as a lousy housewife. But probably to prevent me from exposing his lies, he had spread even worse rumors about me. He blatantly advertised that I was a good-for-nothing wife lazing around without properly taking care of the housework and boasted aloud about supporting me with his salary. Can you tell me more about this? I called on my colleagues to ask for details. Well, after that, Robert started bad-mouthing you to our boss, too. Even to the boss. Robert said you were so embarrassed you begged him, please keep our private life out of the office. You didn't say that, did you, Emma? Of course not. I vehemently denied it. He anticipated that no matter what I might tell our colleagues later, it would only sound like an excuse. I told everyone the truth. I take care of all the household chores, and Robert can't do anything around the house. Moreover, he always comes to me for advice whenever he faces difficulties at work. That's when he said he didn't know how to prepare a proposal. I even helped him make documents. Afterwards, he just dumped everything on me because it would be faster if you would do it all. Just as I thought. A Kim section, my old colleagues who knew me well immediately believed me. Then they continued with reluctance. I was hesitant whether to tell you this or not, Emma. According to them, Robert, after his promotion, had been using his position to invite young ladies from work to dinner. There was one in particular he seemed to favor, and she didn't seem to mind. Recently, they've been spotted together late at night quite frequently. Actually, I've seen it myself. Robert arm in arm with her, having an intimate dinner at a restaurant. Indeed. Herbert had been coming home late at night very often lately, claiming he was working overtime. He would even leave early in the morning during weekends, saying he was on a business trip. I see. Thanks for telling me. Then I understood everything. Not only was Robert belittling me, he was also cheating on me behind my back. Not only was he bad-mouthing me at the office, but he was also seeing another woman behind my back. And I can't forgive him. I no longer have the will to support such a person. I kept my anger and resolution to myself and decided to keep up the facade of our normal life. Actions, unaware of all this, he would come to me asking for guidance on work as usual. Hey Emma, the progress of our next project isn't looking good. If this doesn't go well, it's bad for the company. 
where do you think we need to adjust our schedule? Oh, and by the way, this is a proposal that needs to be done urgently. Can you have it ready by tomorrow? I'm busy with something else. Despite his situation, I calmly advised him and created the proposal. During this time, Robert repeatedly worked overtime saying, I have to work late and often not returning home until morning. It's, it was when the preparation for the project was fully completed that I presented him with divorce papers. I can't go on with you anymore. Please, let's break up. Upon hearing this, the Burt burst into laughter. Uh, divorce? Well, can you? Was that an ink you do on your own? I'll find a job. Who would hire you now? After you've been a stay-at-home wife for years. True side of trad, a part-time job that would it would do you some pocket money is the only sort of job you'll land at best. Dale, I don't want to be with you anymore. I don't want to breathe the same air as someone who's as unfaithful as you. Abel, as soon as the subject of his infidelity came up, he was taken aback and raised his voice. As he went. What are you talking about? An affair? Um, you're just imagining things, right? Do you have proofs? When I remained silent, Robert laughed with a sense of triumph. I was saying, you're jumping at conclusions without any proof. Eris is one pause and now thinks you're the one who brought up the divorce. You're the one should, um, you should leave this house, so this when he took the divorce papers, he forcefully kicked me out of the house. But I was planning on leaving in the first place anyway. I picked up my luggage I had packed in advance and left the house. As I was leaving, I could hear Robert's mocking words. Helen Sompson, and you, uh, without any basic living arrangements, will surely come back soon. I'll come begging later. Um... However, it was Robert who came begging the next day. Um, ammo's going on and, uh, what else? So, say the document from the other day was a mess. Till I reworked according to your suggestions, was full of vacancies. Even after discovering his infidelity, I continued to make documents for him. However, the difference was in their content. Ixi Akratim, I instructed him to build his schedule based on what I knew would not work. And I also deliberately made bogus suggestions for his proposals as well. It was clearly a mess of poor scheduling and proposal, but Robert submitted them as is without checking. Obviously, the project was a huge failure. Having lost trust within the company, feeling dissatisfied with the demotion, he protested to his superiors. He's trying to appeal that the mistake wasn't his decision, but his wife's. Actually, this just made Robert's position worse. At six answers, it was a major issue that he didn't make decisions about company matters himself, but left them to his wife. It appears that the higher-ups took him discussing company business with an outsider, even if it was his wife, more seriously than the mistake itself. I noticed your work became accurate and quick after you got married. So, have you been getting advice from your wife all this time, like this incident? You know, this was the only time my wife helped me. There was no point in defending himself at this point. There was no way he could make anyone believe him. His incompetence, his inability to do anything by himself was now clear to his boss. He contacted me numerous times after that, 
but I ignored all of them because it was only bothersome. Then one day, a lawyer claiming to have been hired by him paid me a visit. Robert says you're always welcome to come back. He's a now. Moreover, you're welcome to come back. How arrogant. Ridiculous. Please tell Robert that I have no intention of going back. He was actually worried that you wouldn't be able to get by. If that's the case, he need not worry. I'm ready to start a new life on my own. I believe it's Robert who's suffering without any source of income now. Saying that, I sent the lawyer away. A few days later, my former boss contacted me when he found out that all of Robert's work was actually my achievement. Emma, would you consider coming back to us? Come back, but I've been out of work for a while. You haven't been out of work at all. You've been doing your husband's job all this time. I do like my job, but working in the same place as my ex-husband is a bit. Hmm, indeed. A Tedestancy. Then the boss negotiated with the higher-ups to arrange for me and Robert not to be in the same department. A few days later, the boss called me again. Thema, you don't need to worry about anything anymore. It turned out that it was Robert who's transferred, not me. He had now been deemed as a problem since the incident, and there had been talks of transferring him from the start. He was deemed unfit for such a crucial department in the company. Fetched their feed a week after I sent the lawyer away. I received a call from Robert. Emma, help me. I've been transferred. Um... It seems the authorities had given him the notice, but he hasn't heard anything about me. Where to? Them to my question, he exclaimed. Some godforsaken place I've never heard of. ECR is a department where I uh, won't be handling any crucial tasks of the company. And that said, uh, I can't even dream of promotion. It's like being exiled. Well, isn't that perfect for you? You can't make decisions on your own and you leave everything to others. Plus, you can't even check the tasks you delegate. There's no way they put someone like you in a crucial position. We've been working together as a couple up until now. You're the one who made me lose the will to support you. If you hadn't betrayed me, I intended to keep supporting you from behind the scenes. I didn't betray you. I wasn't serious about her. I don't care if you were serious or not. What I can't forgive is that you deceived me. Last once lost can't be regained. Please don't leave me. At this point, Robert's words did not move me at all. That might be true. I can't see you, who can't do your job or manage the house, surviving alone. You've always relied on others and never done anything for yourself, and now it's coming back to haunt you. What happened to reliable Emma, who always used to help me? The supportive wife vanished the moment you cheated. Lying to your colleagues, pretending to be confident at work, fooling around with female colleagues behind the scenes. You deserve to be dumped. You reap what you sow. I hope you suffer. I hung up the phone in the heat of the moment and blocked Robert's number. There's no joy in being relied on by Robert now. After that, I was able to divorce him. I made sure to claim a suitable alimony from him and his mistress. Plus only a few close friends know where I went after leaving the house. As long as I block his calls, there's no need to worry about Robert harassing me. 
a nail. I hold the position he once did. Thanks to his constant work consultation, I was almost fully aware of the department's movements even after I quit. And so, I started working hard, just like before I was married. Robert's mother and sister showed up just as I was starting to forget about him. You must be Emma, right? They glared at me. You tricked my son and stole his position. I never liked you from the start, but I didn't know you were this wicked. Robert's habit of lying hasn't changed, has it? My mutterings triggered my mother-in-law to yell back, her face turning bright red. What did you say? Are you calling our Robert a liar? I've seen it clearly now. It's because you all believe everything Robert says, without a doubt that he's become like this. Ask anyone at work, and you'll see. Robert can't do anything by himself but he's a pro at being pampered and relying on others. What's more, he thinks others are obligated to help him. Standing before my in-laws, who are trying to exert pressure on me, I continued to speak calmly. And that's not all. He slanders those who have helped him behind their backs and built up the lie that he's a great person. It's, it's not that I took Robert's position from him, but rather the veneer wore off, which led to his reassignment. Even so, isn't it heartless for you, his wife, to abandon your husband? You should say those words to Robert. He had me do his work while he was out having an affair. Have you heard about this from him? Just as I thought, He's only told you what's convenient for him. That's so like Robert even till the end. By the way, if he has complaints, why doesn't Robert come here himself? Does he have a reason for not wanting to see everyone at work? Maybe because he lied and deceived his peers, had an affair with a colleague, all of which were exposed, and he got transferred. I guess he wouldn't dare show his face after all this, would he? Affair. Transfer. What's all that about? I would recommend you guys to not take everything he says at face value. I'll be going now. Realizing that I was right, my in-laws awkwardly and quietly left. There's probably nothing else that Robert, who had used his final trump cards of his mother and sister, can do. He can reflect on himself while living alone in a remote place, or he can continue to behave the same. But what he does doesn't concern me in the least. I will just continue to live my own life. I'm truly grateful to the boss who recognized my ability and brought me back to the company.